Access to Helix confirmed. Pod number 1837 is now linked to Helix 3, level 7. All vital signs are synchronized. That's it. Congratulations, Mr. Cardigan. Conrad Lowell's a ruthless bandit. Senator, few penal systems in the world are as efficient as ours. 15,000 inmates in one facility. Our biggest cost is maintenance. And some basic civil rights. Prisons in the late 20th century were hell holes. We have no gangs. We have no riots. When was the last time an inmate got to talk to his kid? There have to be some trade-offs. I appreciate your insight, Warden. I'll include your observation in my report. Too bad he doesn't want first-hand information. You do a good job, Cardigan. I wish you'd let me do mine. Do the words cruel and unusual mean anything to you? Do us both a favor and get down off the soapbox. Yeah. Please. Jay Cardigan? You may proceed to security checkpoint to retrieve your weapon. Thank you. Your attention, please. A virus has been detected at Helix 3, level 7. All personnel must be evacuated immediately. Repeat. All personnel must be evacuated immediately. Helix 3. Your attention, please. Uh, sorry, sir. The facility has to be evacuated. Uh, take my chances. Uh, this way, sir. I'm sure it's just a false alarm. Pod number 1837 contaminated. Prisoner must be immediately resuscitated. Pod number 7025 contaminated. Prisoner must be immediately resuscitated. Resuscitate the prisoners. I'll take over here. Pod number 4898 You, come with me. Prisoner Public address frequency, please. Attention all personnel, this is Deputy Warden Caruso speaking. There is no cause for alarm. Containment procedures are routine. Again, there is no cause for alarm. I wouldn't be so sure about that, Warden. Tranquilize him. I don't think so. Nice shot, Roy boy. Now, uh, would somebody get me my boots? Jake Cardigan, security clearance G7. Your clearance is confirmed, Jake Cardigan. We regret to inform you that this facility is quarantined. Exit is not possible at this time. Is there anyone left in 3 West Recovery? There are six people in Helix 3 West Quadrant Recovery Room. Put them on the screen, please. I want that coat. Forget about the coat. You want me to open another storage locker? No, he's fine. I want that coat! Would you shut the hell up? 5,000 icicles. I had to get stuck with a lobotomy case. Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother, boys. I'm your one-way ticket to freedom. All you have to do is keep an eye on our hostages. Why us? Yeah, your potluck. Anybody bad enough to be in here is good enough for me. Don't listen to him. We've been contaminated with the Mitsu virus. We'll all be dead in 24 hours no unless... No one's gonna die, sugar. Not unless they're real stupid. It's a synthetic form of Mitsu's. It isn't virulent. It tripped the containment sensors. Of course it did. I built those sensors. 
I also built my very own personal escape hatch, too. <laughs> Damn, I'm good! He is real good. Before Conrad Lowell went on his outlaw binge, he was a top-notch security engineer. He helped redesign the freezer. You got anything on Icicle 7025 and 4898? Alex Maxwell, alias Atlas, serving a life sentence for hijacking an aero shuttle and killing five hostages. What about the other one? Ivan Chang, alias the Iceman, professional assassin and other lifer. You got any idea where Lowell's escape hatch might be? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Your best bet is to get to the operations room and trap Lowell in recovery. Oh, damn it, someone's starting to trace us. You better move. Just picked up a communication signal from a security station. Well, yeah, show's over. <laughs> Way to go, Iceman. You got your key card? No more quarantine. Roy boy! Find that bastard. I'll wait for your signal. Open. Bad or anything at all. Right, I'll shoot you. And I will. I mean, I will. Shoot. Anyone ever teach you that evacuation means leave the building? I can't leave. If something goes wrong, hundreds of inmates could die. Let me guess. You're new at your job. It's my first week. I'm Tara James. I monitor the cryopods. Well, listen, Tara. The best thing you could do for both of us right now is to stay here. Why? What happened? There's a hostage situation. So stay here, keep quiet, don't move until I come back for you. Oh, no, I'm going with you. Oh, no, you're not. Should I start screaming now or as soon as you leave? If you want to get both of us killed? I guess that means I should start screaming now. <sighs> you know how to get to the operations room? Here, kitty. Kitty, 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 puss, 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 puss. Why don't you let him go? He needs medical attention. No one's leaving, sugar. Party's just beginning. Nice kitty. Give it up. My kitty, his name is Woody. You're talking to air. You be nice to my kitty, or I'll kill you. Nice kitty, nice kitty. Mighty fine cat, mighty fine. Love cats. Great animals. All right, we got to cut the power to 3 West Recovery and trip that door control. Don't look at me. Well, you wanted to help, didn't you? I got us here, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Robson Model Z10. If I'm reading this right, it should do it. You're good. Thank you. Oh, what the hell? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. Roy boy. Yeah, scratch the security station. Load some cowboys in the operations room on B level. We'll meet you at the escape hatch. On my way. Without power, the door won't open. Oh, good old Model Z-10. Great for sound and heat insulation. Not for security. After you, brown eyes. He just bypassed the recovery room door. He's really good. Yeah, I know. Nikki, you there? You've got 10 seconds before they'll start another trace. I need the location of Lowell's escape hatch. I need it now. I don't have it yet. Well, give me what you got. OK. I found two hidden access panels, one in the plenum and one in a storage area. They were both installed when Lowell worked on the facility. Does the plenum lead to the roof? Yes, and that's where the shuttle lands. But you're going to have to take a service lift to get there. All right. Thanks. 
Please tell me you know where the service lifts are. All 14 of them. All I need is one. Follow me. The plan's one level up. How come the lift's stopping here? I don't know. What, is this a repair shop or something? Not exactly. It's the morgue. Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? They ship him to the graveyard satellite once a week. You out of your mind? Well, I drew his fire, didn't I? You don't draw fire by standing up and waving in the middle of a shootout. Unless you're looking for a one-way ticket to that graveyard satellite. Well, it worked on my brother's VR game. Come on. Watch this. I have to agree. Get in there. All right, don't move. You need weapon fire. You get back in the maintenance. Why can't I go? Stay. Prison arrow shuttle is only 50 meters the other side of that door. You know, Woody wants to fly. Me too. Emergency access requested. Proper quarantine procedures have been taken and med personnel are ready to enter the facility. Retinal scan match required. How about putting those pretty brown eyes of yours up to the scanner? No deal. Cut her eye out. Great, that's not an option. You too. Put your hands behind your heads. Get over in the corner. Go on. Come on, Lowell. Get him off. Oh, we're gonna do see do through this again, Cardigan. You know, you grabbed me once, I made an ass out of you. You grab me again, I'll make an ass out of you again. Well, I'm afraid you're out of luck this time, my friend. Open the door. Retinal scan complete. This is Deputy Warden Eileen Caruso. Release the door, please. Your request is denied. By who? I am the protector. The protector is programmed to activate. Now, level five security status is in effect. I'm the deputy warden. I order you to open this door. The protector controls the facility. This communication is now terminated. Good health. What the hell was that? No! Failsafe program. Listen, Angel, I designed this place. There is no failsafe program, so cut the crap. The system was installed last month. Don't lie to me! I swear, it's the truth! I don't want to leave. I want to leave. Shut your head! Shut up, both of you! There's got to be a way to override that program. We have another problem. I thought I told you to stay back. I told her not to. Unless you want to wear the lady's brain on your shirt, I suggest you give me the gun, partner. It's your call, my friend. You either help us get out of here alive, or I'll take you out in a cryo box. <laughs> Police procedure dictates no negotiation with terrorists. We take quarantine precautions and begin an assault immediately. There will be no assault. The Department of Corrections policy takes precedence. We negotiate by the book. 
we'll see. Look, could we forget procedure? We gotta pull together here. Oh, the voice of an inexperienced idealist. Sneaky uh, there. Oh, man, you are a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, well, we got a little problem here. Good afternoon, Mr. Cardigan. I'm Anne Montgomery, director of the Department of Corrections. I'm the official liaison. I'm sure we can negotiate a positive outcome to our present dilemma. Well, I'm unarmed, I'm outnumbered. The virus is inactive, so if you want to help me, you can start by calling off the protector. It isn't that easy. The protector shuts down the normal security program and runs independently. It was designed to prevent human error. Here's the drill, sugar. You got two hours to tell your brain-dead program to unlock the doors. That's it. I can't deactivate the protector from here if you'll just be patient. After two hours, I will kill a hostage every hour on the hour. And just in case you think I'm joshing... Think again. Doesn't look like Lowell's in the mood to negotiate. We proceed by the book. I just spoke to the magistrate. Our orders are to send in an assault team now. Because my engineering makes me immune to the virus, I will lead the team. Good for nothing mech. I hope his brain rusts. Look, if the protector is malfunctioning, our best bet is to find its architect. Knock yourself out. Cat food. I need cat food. You said you had a plan. I do. Well, let's hear it. You shut up. We were supposed to be out of the country by now. Stay real, friends. How many heists do you pull off without a hitch? It's one hell of a hitch. Are you gonna shut up or am I gonna jam the barrel of this up your nose? Cat food! All the icicles in the freezer had to get stuck with a slow drip. Hey, they didn't screw up, Lowell. You did. Every time the Lone Ranger here tried to put me in the big bad ice house, I just two-stepped on out. Not once, twice. He'll be stepping out on you, too. Look at the mess he's gotten you in already. I'm the best chance you've got. You help me? I know I can get the cops to cut you a deal. They want Lowell real bad. <laughs> you may as well pick your cryopods out now, boys. Cardigan's got nothing. He'll turn you over as soon as you get out. Once a cop, always a cop. You don't believe me? Well, go ahead. Shoot me. Man, you do that. You lose to me every time, Cardigan. Every time. All right, fall in. This is Lieutenant Winger. Police clearance A14 requesting entry. This is the protector. Access is denied. This facility is quarantined. Security clearance A14 overrides prison authority. Release this facility immediately. The protector's commands cannot be overridden. Open fire. Close your fire. Deactivate that grid. The protector's commands cannot be overridden. This communication is now terminated. Good health. Ms. Montgomery, I'd like you to meet Charlie Fenton. He designed the protector. You've created a monster, Dr. Frankenstein. I hope for your sake you can shut it down. From what I've heard, the protector is just doing what it's supposed to do when it detects contamination. But there is no contamination, Mr. Fenton. The virus is inactive. An inactive cryovirus. Interesting. Glad you're interested. Now fix it. Is that your cyber rig? I thought you'd never ask. He didn't respond to the resuscitator. He's dead. Cat food for Woody. <laughs> Here, Woody. Woody, where are you, kitty? Come to Papa. Right. Come on, baby. Come Don't to... fall apart on me now. I need your help. What? What happens if that thing jams? It has an overload chip. If it fails, it sends out a warning signal. And if you don't turn it off? Don't touch it. Uh. 
You two finished giving the last rites? Just about. You heartless, amoral son of Allow him some dignity. There ain't nothing dignified about dying. My, oh my, what a pretty sight. You're a pig. Take it easy. Come here, sweet thing. Ooh, I like it when you play rough. I, I can play rough, too. I want to play rough, too. Your turn after mine. Hey, Roy boy, how about a ride? Blazes is that? Iceman! Iceman! That's it, you're dead! Don't do it, boy. He deserves to die. Yes, he does. But if you lose your head, we lose everything. Now stick to the plan. He'll pay later. I have never flown this deep into the crowd system before. Oh, damn, right into a cyber hole. I'm gonna need an address, Montgomery. Classified. Oh, is she gonna waste time making me find it? Security systems are on GS level 12, sector five. I don't have the precise address for the protector. I'll take what I can get. You're almost there. Start filtering. This is the protector. Please state the purpose of this communication. This is programmer Alpha Gamma 12. Programmer Alpha Gamma 12 is Charlie Fenton. Charlie Fenton created the protector. That's right. Please state the purpose of this communication, Charlie Fenton. The purpose of this communication is to determine why you have quarantined Cryo 3 West Quadrant. A virulent cryovirus has been detected. The protector must quarantine. But the cryovirus isn't virulent. It's inactive. The protector has analyzed the med scanners. The cryovirus is active. For Pete's sake, tell it to override the med scanners and shut off. I can't. The system was designed to eliminate human error. Oh, so now we have machine error. There's no reason to panic. Well, it looks like we have to kill another hostage in 10 minutes. Kill a hostage, cat food. <laughs> you always been like that? He's suffering from a form of dementia that came on during his cryo incarceration. <coughs> Hair bones, bad kitty. What brought on the dementia? Bad, bad. It can be caused by the cryo process, but as you're well aware, there are very few permanent side effects. Are you gonna tell that to the families of your two dead med techs? Talking. Tell me what I want to hear, sweet thing. The protector will reevaluate its diagnosis if it has blood samples from each of you. Forget it! They're stalling for time! They could have gotten in here. Don't you think they would have stormed the place by now? We'll draw the samples. I want the Aero Shuttle ready and waiting with a full power supply and 50,000 in untraceable credits. If anything goes wrong, I kill all the hostages. Let's move. Med scan activated. Run full virus battery. Scan complete. Hallelujah. Cryovirus active and present in all blood samples. It's not active. It cannot be active. The diagnosis has been confirmed. Failsafe countdown activated. Run another test! If the cryovirus is still detected in one hour, the protector will sterilize the facility. What exactly does that mean? All viral carriers must be terminated. If necessary, the facility must be destroyed. This communication is now terminated. Good health. Your rogue computer is about to make the biggest mistake in history. It's not a rogue computer. What's that? The protector's right. Here's the DNA structure of the synthesized cryovirus Lowell introduced. 
Here's the real thing. They're identical. The virus mutated when it was in the cryo environment. It imprinted. In layman's terms, it copied its mother. It's active. Your program is just doing its job. Okay, I'm cross-correlating the virus with information from the Department of Corrections. Okay, there is a vaccine. The antibody takes 24 hours to synthesize. We have less than one hour. Unless you can get us an extension. The presence of a virulent cryovirus has been confirmed by the med scanners. An antidote exists and can be brought to the facility in 24 hours. The protector must continue the fail-safe sequence. What purpose does the protector serve? The primary function of the protector is to maintain security in a level five state of emergency. And why does the protector maintain security? to guard the community against human error. The fail-safe sequence has been activated to guard the community. The protector can still guard even if the sequence is delayed. Programmer AG-12 is human. The protector must guard against human error. Then guard against human error. Just give us 24 hours. The facility will be destroyed if the viral carriers are not terminated. It isn't necessary to destroy the facility. This communication is now terminated. I can't shut it down. What the hell went wrong? I don't know. Take it easy. This computer's gonna kill us and all you can say is I don't know? I don't know! Is that part of your plan? No. Here's my plan. <laughs> Enough. It's enough! We're wasting time! I don't know! I've triple-checked the results. We're all infected. Talk fast, Nika. I took a ride through the prison security schematic. There may be a way to turn the thing off if you can get to the central power control. Well, tell me what to do. If you can find a portable power source, you may be able to temporarily overload it. Nika. The protector has intercepted your communication. The protector must eliminate all human error. This communication is now terminated. Nika. What the hell did you do, Cardigan? Nothing. Woody! Where's Woody? Woody's fine. Get out of here. Beat us to the punch. Any way to figure which processor works in central controls? There are hundreds of power processors. We'll never find it. I supervised this installation, Turkey. It's this way, boys and girls. I've got to find Woody. Hey, Woody's all right. Can't we leave him behind? We don't leave anybody behind. Well, let me put him out of his misery. Woody's this way. Oh, isn't that sweet? Let's go, let's go. Boom. Southeast corner. Where the hell'd that come from? It's a mechanical perimeter guard. What's it doing up here? I guess the protector put in a call. Woody? Not Woody. How many are there? There's 12 scouts. If they sense motion, they'll call reinforcements. Well, if they work off of motion, all we gotta do is sit tight. They won't call on their buddies. I sure hope you're right.
Let's go. Maybe I can help him. No time, sugar. He's a lot of dead meat. Now, ain't she a pretty sight? Roy boy? Yeah, hold on, Roy. Hold on. I think we should strategize our approach. Strategize this. Shorten out the protective fields of walk in the meadow. All we need are three of those laser bugs. We lure them right into the, the protector. Isn't gonna let us do anything to that processor. This wasn't supposed to happen. Why don't you tell me something I don't know? I trusted you. You screwed up. You screwed up everything. I got kids. Well, you do? Yeah. Do they know you're a yellow dog of a coward? Hey, come on, stick to the problem, okay? The problem is the protector is learning to defend itself. It's not going to stop until it knows we're dead. You mean unless it thinks we're dead? Well, that's not a bad idea, cowboy. Question is, have you got the guts to do it? In order to simulate death, the hibernation state has to be much deeper than normal. I've heard stories about the nightmares. They're more intense the deeper you go. Reports say that they're shared. They are, and you never forget them. How long do we have to stay in deep sleep? No more than 15 minutes. Any more than that, and we'll be dead for real. You guys want to die? You go ahead, I'm out of here. Oh. Now, you're not getting cold feet, are you, Cardigan? Go ahead, honey, start it up. How do I load them in? Our duties are finished here. Mine aren't. I order you to tear down now. Understood? Okay. Understood. But I need you to understand something. Make it fast. Where did you learn to do that? Charm school. What happened? She passed out. Take her to the med vac. Oh. Complete the tear down. Sorry, can't do that. Montgomery's orders. The two of us have to stay at our posts, and she said the rest of the equipment stays plus one emergency shuttle. An unnecessary waste of equipment. Oh, that's what I love about you, Winger. You're all heart. Tara James, pod 4985, now linked to Helix 3, level 7. All vital signs are synchronized. Link complete. Pod 4986 is now ready. It'll be a long, cold night. Override normalizing procedure. Normalizing procedure overridden. Jake Carney, pod 4986, now linked to Helix 3, level 7. All vital signs are synchronized. It isn't real. How does it feel, Warden? Do you feel our pain? 
I thought you were my father. I thought you backed me up. Who is it? No one. Is real. You forgot me already, Guardian. I ain't even cold in my grave. I can never forget you, Bart. I trusted you, man. I know you. I had you figured all wrong. I didn't know how I was going to make it through the days. I just knew I had to keep on going. You let me die. There's nothing I could have done, Sid. You don't care about anyone but yourself! That's not true. My real partner knows that that is not true. <laughs> Had you going, didn't I, Cardigan? You know, I like it here. It's like one big hoedown. Quit messing around, Lowell. See, Cardigan, I know nothing can hurt me here except you. Oh, cram it. I don't buy into the big bad nightmare crap. That's the advantage of having absolutely no conscience. <laughs> you have no idea. No idea what kind of game you're playing. You're gonna love this one. You're not my father. I don't even know who you are. Cut it out, Lowell. I'm not Lowell. My name's Danny. Mom was right. You're just a major screw-up. Why don't you just stay out of my life? I'm your father. Remember that. Well, Mom married someone else. No, Danny. Just stay out of my life. I love you, son. Well, that's a lie! Look, just do me a favor. And stay away from Mama Me. I don't say that. Why not? You sold out. You're just a stinking tech head. Truth hurts, doesn't it? You let me down. And I don't need you anymore. All you care about is yourself. Why did you let me die? Not my father. I thought you why don't you get out of my life? I didn't mean it. You care about anyone but yourself! You sold out. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! It's a stinking attack. I didn't mean it! Five minutes before detonation. I, I can't outsmart it. Keep trying. I have tried everything. The failsafe sequence is aborted. Access is now permitted. What did you do? Nothing. The facility is now sterilized. The cryovirus is no longer present. Your communication system has been restored. Deactivate the protector program. Signature code. The protector is now deactivated. The protector stays in its box until I decide to let it out. Congratulations, Jake. Jake? Are you on the right frequency? Of course. Where is it? Nika, it's possible that the protector sterilized the facility by killing whoever was left. No, it isn't. According to this readout, no one is alive except the inmates in the Matrix. When four of them are in critical condition, we have to pull them out fast. How long have they been in there? 16 minutes. Damn it, Cardigan, I knew you would find some place to hide. What about the virus? It's dormant for now. We can send a medvac team from the shuttle. Let's go.
my heart bleeds. You lied to me, you murdering son of a bitch. How's your conscience now? Let go of me. You're going to die! You're going to die! It's your conscience that's doing this. Stop it or I'll kill you all! Ah, look at my hand! It isn't real. Yes, it is! Look! Keep your mind focused on low. I can't! <laughs> How about this, Carnegie? I'm gonna get out of here and you're all gonna rot in this hell! <laughs> Listen to the voices of the innocent people you killed. Listen to their voices. I thought it was dormant, but you were in so deep. You killed it off. The others, what happened to them? Crusoe made it. So did Tara James. Lowell didn't. That doesn't surprise me. You had me worried, Cardigan. I don't like to worry. <sighs> makes two of us. Dr. James, your performance was exemplary. I will personally see to it that you get special commendation and a promotion. I appreciate the thought, Warden, but I'll be resigning effective immediately. I don't believe in the cryo system. Resigning? What's the plan? Well, I'm going to take some time off, and then maybe do some consulting work for Cosmos. Is that right? Well, Nika says Bascom offered me a research job. Well, you deserve it. Thanks. Good luck. Bye. Bye. You're losing one hell of an employee. Yeah, I know. I thought about turning in my resignation, too, but I can't. You still think cryo's the best solution? Someone's got to stay in the game in order to change the rules. I would, too. Uh, value your input. You can bet on my input. All right. Good luck. Meet Charlie Fenton, the guy who helped save your life. Hey, I guess I owe you, huh, Charlie? Hey, don't worry, uh, Montgomery's taking all the credit for this one. Well, at least you know she won't be pressing charges against you. For what? I, uh, littered. Will you excuse us? 30 more seconds, you'd have been gone, finished, iced. Well, then what took you so long? You took an enormous risk by hiding in the freezer matrix. I took no risk at all. I had orders to leave. I had to punch out Montgomery to stay. Nika, you are the most stubborn person that I've ever met. I was gambling on your stubbornness. Paid off. Works like a charm every time. I am not a stubborn. You just got lucky. Do me a favor, all right? What? Don't ever change. 